Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. You might have noticed that I did a YouTube Shorts recently and it was about using Epsom salts and I wanted to back it up with some more information because it's a very accessible, easy to get product that can actually be extremely helpful for lots of different aches and pains and minor ailments that we get. You know what I'm going to say, because I say it every time, but if you've got a condition or you don't know what something is and something's behaving a bit differently, don't just go ahead and use Epsom salts. Make sure you just check it over, even with a chemist, a pharmacist. doesn't always have to be your doctor when it's something you just want to check, but if you've got a condition or an ailment and you're not sure if Epsom salts might affect it, because they do actually have an effect within the body, then don't just go ahead and use them. Check first. But I bet a lot of you, if you don't already use them, will say, oh, is bath salts, is, is that that thing that you get for Christmas or is that when you get a gift? Epsom bath salts are a different thing. You might also have heard of Epsom bath salts but not really know what they are. So it's not like a cosmetic product. It's got an effective use in the body and it has a result within the body. Um, I was guilty of knowing about them, knowing about the effects and then just completely just fell out my head, just forgot all about them. But recently I've been watching a lot of online inspirational content by people who are, do you know, functional doctors? So it's like an evolution from just, it's not like a GP, it's not a specialist, it's doctors that are using the traditional approach with maybe um, alternative approaches, nutritional approaches, herbal approaches, acupuncture, acupressure. So it's doctors that see the full picture rather than just the traditional medicine way. And it was watching some doctors who don't always say, right, let's go for the medication. They were saying, uh, think about Epsom salts for some things. And I thought, I knew about Epsom salts. I just completely forgot all about them. I actually had uh, these Epsom salts and I didn't do anything about it. Um, I'd used them and then I just forgot. So this pack's nearly done, this is almost done, and this is just to start. But um, if you wondered where or why it's named Epsom salts, it's named after where they're found in the springs, and it's in the UK, Epsom. So I'll chat you through some things you might know, you might not know. Epsom bath salts are, they're, so they're very easy to buy. They're really economical, they're easy to get, they're good value predominantly people use them for sore muscles. Now you can see with these ones, that's a post-workout blend and they've added some black pepper oil to it. This is a muscle therapy blend with eucalyptus, you can smell that. And this is reviving. So I believe this one is actually just Epsom salts. It's got no additional ingredients to it. Sore muscles, it's really good for stress because of the magnesium, which we'll chat about. Good for tension, good for relaxation. Now what they say, talking about the magnesium, it's the magnesium, not the salt, as in sodium, magnesium sulfate, not salt. So do you know what I mean? When you say sodium, you think, oh, table salt, but it's not sodium, it's magnesium sulfate. Now, what happens is you get the magnesium absorption when you have a soak in the Epsom bath salts, around about 20 minutes, half an hour or so. And then when you are able to absorb magnesium and the benefits of soaking in it, some people would say that you will get that relaxation, will get that de-stressing, but you can also increase your feel-good hormones and that's your serotonin. So a lot of people say that the reason why they feel so good after an Epsom salt bath is the serotonin. You just feel good after it. You feel relaxed, you feel like you've dialed down your stress. You just feel good after it. Now you, as I say, don't need to lie for about an hour. You can if you want, but about 20 minutes, half an hour will be absolutely perfect. You should get the benefits from that. But again, look at the packaging. Each one will tell you differently. And if you look here, let's just have a look. It tells you, for instance, this is the muscle therapy with eucalyptus. And it tells you that it soothes aches and pains. Just reading it here. Eases strains and stiffness, rejuvenates the body and its senses, flushes away toxins, helps to balance the skin's natural moisture levels. And it tells you here again, it's packed full of natural minerals, including magnesium, sodium, potassium, and bromides. Soak and unwind and experience the multiple therapeutic benefits. And it breaks it down into the chemicals and the directions here are two handfuls of salt to a warm bath, 
If you've got severely aching muscles, you can use up to half the contents of the pack. 20 minutes is when you soak and then you rinse. So it's only one handful if it's just soothing areas of muscle pain. And it also says that you can uh, soak it into hot water. One handful of salt and a cup of hot water, cool the solution in the fridge for 20 minutes and then apply to the affected area to let it soak in. So that's almost like a compress that you're using it for. So there's lots of different ways that you can do it. And again, that's the same brand. So I would guess it'll be quite similar information. And then this is West Lab. I've bought all these myself, by the way. And if you look in your local supermarkets or online or in your local chemist, you quite often get special deals on it, but it's always good value, not an expensive product. Now, again, these ones have got essential oils in them. Some to, I've got the post-workout and the muscle therapy. I got these because when you do a weights class, sometimes when you've lifted weights for an hour, you really feel it the next day. So it's nice to know these are here. And then sometimes muscle therapy, if you've just been having a very active week or you've been doing a lot of massages, things like that. Maybe you, um, if ever I've done long days doing makeup, if it's on a set, you can be in agony because you've been carrying your cases, you've been bent over if you're tall, hunched over, working on people, who knows what, and then what happens is your muscles are achy the next day. But you can get them with essential oils, you can get blends. Um, I've bought some day sleep blend before, they really liked it. Um, as I was saying about this one, you can use it as a compress or an application. Some people will make it into a paste, they'll use it as a mask. Um, you can either get it in tablet form, but I'd always say, do your own research because there are contraindications and you can't just presume that you can go firing into everything. You have to check. So what I would say is some of the benefits, if you haven't already read these, think about predominantly for muscle pain. That's the one main reason why I would use these. If you do get stress, anxiety, insomnia, I would think about using these. If you really want to be able to relax in your bath and just turn the relaxation up, you can think about these. Um, some people feel that they help with headaches. Um, do your research if you want to use them for swelling or sprains or inflammation. Now, inflammation could be, again, maybe you've went over on your ankle, but it's not damaged. So you could maybe do a salt, an Epsom salt bath or soak your feet in a basin. But do your research on that. Some people believe it helps with internal inflammation as in autoimmune. But again, I always have to say, just check it out for yourself. As I say, that promotes magnesium absorption because it's in the salts. So it absorbs through your skin. There are studies on this, but again, you'll always get people who say, oh, that study is a load of rubbish. So do your research. Um, some people would suggest that it can relax your digestive system, which can help if you get um, discomfort with anything, any ailments to do with that digestive tract. Um, some people say when they have itching, as long as, again, it's not tied in with something specific, it can help with that. Also, people that have irritations, um, fibromyalgia, underactive thyroid. Now, some people say it can act as a laxative. Some people say it can aid detox. I think that with those ones, you would probably have to know exactly where these people are coming from, how they suggest you use it and what effect they actually got from it, see if you can back it up. Because again, these are all things that you will find, but you have to decide for you if you think it's effective or not, and if you think it really would do that for you. A lot of people use the salts in a basin for particularly for so sore feet. So maybe you've had a run or a marathon or a lot of walking, or you've been on your feet maybe all day at your work or dancing all night because you're allowed back at the clubs or it's a wedding. Epsom salts in a foot bath could be very effective. But what you do have to work out, look out for, work out, that's because I was looking at these, because I actually did some exercise today, I was using the weights today, so I'll be using this one. Um, the cautions, it'll tell you on the back what you've got to look out for, but if you've got any areas that are irritated, broken skin, you don't know why it's red, you don't know why it's rashy, um, I wouldn't use it because it'll probably irritate it, hurt it and might make it worse. Um, check what it is that you have bought because each one has different instructions. So here's this one, for instance. It says 
add salt to a warm bath, they've actually told you the degrees, 37 to 39. Um, they've actually told you the measurement of the cup for relaxation and a different measurement for soothing muscles. And then relax and soak for at least 20 minutes. So there are some similarities throughout, but it says precautions, read before use. Um, seek advice from a medical professional before use if you're suffering from a medical condition, medical treatment, pregnant, breastfeeding or have very sensitive skin. Do not use on broken skin. Avoid contact with eyes. If irritation occurs, stop bathing. Rinse with water. If it persists, obviously seek medical advice. So do you see what I mean about them not just being cosmetic bath salts that maybe you would have got years ago in one of your birthday or Christmas gifts? These do have an effect. They are effective on treatments or ailments, I should say. They're effective treatments, but they have conditions of use. So that's why when I say check contraindications, I do mean check contraindications. The other thing is um, make sure what you're buying is Epsom salts because you might get something that says uh, mineral salts or relaxation salts. But if you look at it, look, this says 100% natural mineral salts, but then it does say here Epsom salts. Be careful because you could be buying what you think are Epsom salts and they're not. They're just, again, cosmetic salts. They're not doing anything. So just check you're buying the real deal. And the final thing I want to say is don't overuse them because it is having an effect. You can tell just by reading those instructions on the back. They're powerful, they can have an effect. It's relaxing, but like anything, you overuse it, you'll cause a reaction. Now that reaction could be that you don't feel well, it could be that your skin's irritated. Who knows what that reaction is in you? Everyone's different, but be sensible, follow the instructions. And I think most people would have an Epsom bath maybe once to a maximum of three times a week, depending on why they're using it. But any more than that, and you might be overstimulating and not doing yourself any favours. But I've uh, made sure that I've shown you in the YouTube short how the salts can be used in the bath. And I'll actually put it in here too. But as you can see, it literally is salts. That's what it looks like. It looks like salts. And you sprinkle it in. And these ones smell really nice because they add aromatherapy. But even if it doesn't have a scent, if it's effective and you can relax and enjoy it, why not? So hope you found it interesting. Let me know if you use them, if you've got any experience of using them or if you're interested in using them because it's nice to know that you can get very affordable ways of having some effective results on any ailments that you've got. But again, just use your common sense. If in doubt, go and seek some advice, even if it is the chemist. Have a great day and I'll see you again soon.